Hello, I'm Jay Buckley, Technical Training Manager at Honeywell Consumer Products Group. Welcome to Module 5 of the Autolite Challenge Professional Technician Program. In this module, I'll discuss what the term heat range means, why spark plug heat range is important, and when you may need to change heat ranges. I'll also explain how the Autolite spark plug numbering system works and how to use it to find the right parts for the vehicle you're working on. Spark plug heat range refers to a spark plug's ability to dissipate heat from combustion through the engine cooling system. This heat dissipation is critical. Heat range is the measure of how fast the spark plug tip dissipates combustion heat. A spark plug must dissipate this heat in a controlled manner. It needs to stay cool enough to avoid pre-ignition and electrode destruction while running hot enough to burn off combustion deposits that would otherwise collect at the firing tip. The spark plug also needs to adapt to specific engine characteristics and to widely varying driving and load conditions. A spark plug runs best and stays clean when running at around 1200 to 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. If the temperature of the spark plug tip gets too cold, say 500 degrees, it can and will fall out in a short period of time. On the other end of the spectrum, a spark plug that exceeds 1600 degrees will eventually go into pre-ignition. Pre-ignition, also defined as auto-ignition, is an occurrence of uncontrolled combustion caused by a spark plug that is too hot or by another hot spot type ignition source in the combustion chamber. The uncontrolled combustion caused by pre-ignition will immediately destroy the spark plug and cause severe engine damage very quickly. Heat is conducted away from the firing tip through the insulator to the spark plug shell to the cylinder head. The shorter the path, the faster the heat is dissipated and the colder the plug. The heat ranges are primarily controlled by the length of the insulator firing tip through which the heat must travel before escaping to the cylinder head. Other factors affecting heat range include the thermal characteristics of the insulator and the bond of the insulator to the shell. Heavy loads and constant high-speed operation require a shorter insulator tip for fast heat transfer. This results in a lower heat range or a cold spark plug. Now, let's take a look at a hot spark plug. The longer the path, the slower the heat is dissipated and the hotter the plug. Low speed, short trips, and stop and go driving require a longer insulator tip with slower heat transfer. This results in a higher heat range or hot spark plug. Working closely with engine manufacturers, Autolite engineers have developed plugs in many heat ranges to suit all engine applications. They range from cold through medium and hot to extremely hot. Now, I'll look you right in the eye when I say this. You have to trust the Autolite team to choose the correct heat range for the engine you're working on. To accurately select the correct plug, you must follow the manufacturer's specifications as listed in this catalog. So how does Autolite determine what heat range is best for a given engine? We work hand in hand with engine calibrators to find a heat range that has good cold start and anti-fouling properties by performing extensive cold start testing in our own cold box. The cold box is essentially a freezer with an engine dyno inside. We'll instrument an engine, install the plugs, and then cold soak the engine. This simulates the conditions your car endures when it's sitting outside in freezing weather. Then we make several cold starts to see if we can get it running without fouling the plugs. We'll also use specially made spark plugs with a thermal couple embedded in the insulator tip. Using these plugs, we work with an engine calibrator to find optimal tip temperatures throughout the entire engine load and RPM range. Remember the spark plug rating engine from module one? We use the spark plug rating engine to find the exact heat range of the OE plug for an engine. Using the indicated mean effective pressure information, or IMEP, 
we can match the OE heat range perfectly. You may think you always have to use the OE plug in a given engine for it to run properly, but that's really not true. A vehicle doesn't know what brand of plug you're using, but it does recognize if the spark plug's heat range is matched correctly to the engine calibration. Autolite engineers spend a lot of time and research to perfectly match heat ranges to OE for optimal performance. So now that you know how Autolite matches heat ranges and tests for cold starting, you may be wondering how we decide when the plug is too hot. Many engine calibrations are as lean as possible with the most spark advance. This provides the best power output and emissions performance. We conduct testing with specialized equipment to find the pre-ignition point. We do this to make sure there's a margin of safety and that the plug is never too hot. The Autolite team spends a lot of time determining the best spark plug heat range for your vehicle. This is reflected in our catalog. Getting the right heat range is as simple as looking up the correct spark plug for your car. Despite what some people may think, installing a hotter plug in an oil burning car will not stop the spark plug from oil falling. It can and will cause engine damage when the engine is put under a heavy load. So when do you need to change the heat range? If the engine's modified. Typically, engines which are stock or only slightly modified can use the spark plug recommended in the Autolite catalog. Generally speaking, any engine modification that alters the overall compression ratio of the engine will involve spark plug selection issues. One important thing to consider is heat range. Remember, the heat range of the spark plug determines how much heat the spark plug is capable of removing from the combustion chamber. The heat range of the spark plug does not increase or decrease horsepower. It changes the temperature of the tip of the spark plug. If the heat range is too cold, the deposits will not burn off the tip and the spark plug will fall. If the heat range is too hot, pre-ignition can occur. A switch in spark plug heat range will change the temperature of the spark plug tip by 70 to 120 degrees. If you're unsure of the correct heat range to use, always start with a colder spark plug. If the spark plug is too cold, the plug will eventually fall and a misfire will occur. This will not hurt the engine. Unfortunately, if a spark plug that's too hot is inadvertently chosen, pre-ignition and detonation can severely damage your engine. Don't go to a hotter heat range unless you've consulted your engine builder or tuner expert. Most engines modified with superchargers, turbochargers, nitrous oxide, or other means of boosting engine power will require a colder spark plug to prevent pre-ignition. Since there are many different ways to modify your engine for racing applications, we can't tell you which specific spark plug to use in this module. If you've made modifications to your engine, you should refer to your component manufacturer's specifications or go to Autolite.com and click contact to reach one of our experts. Just keep in mind that the Autolite manufacturer's warranties do not cover any type of losses or damages caused by incorrect installation, errors in application, or modifications of its products or the engine. All Autolite spark plugs have a numbering system that helps you understand the heat range. For example, if your stock spark plug is an XP-104, an XP-105 is one step hotter, and an XP-103 is one step colder. We publish a heat range chart in our master catalogs. We also specify the heat range in our online parts catalog. Look for it at Autolite.com. Be sure to check out additional information in the tech spec section under the Car Care tab. Congratulations! You've completed the fifth training module of the Autolite Challenge Professional Technician Program. Thank you for your time.